Mark Spencer from Ripple Training here with some tips on how to use the RT black and white effect as part of the Ripple Tools collection. So here I am in Final Cut Pro 10. I'm in the Titles browser. I'm in the Ripple Tools collection, and we're looking at RT black and white. What I'm going to do is I have three different clips I want to look at here. I'm going to set an I, an in point, I for in point, O for out point. So I've got a range here. I'll select black and white and hit Q, and that way I've got this black and white effect applied to three different clips. So we can kind of see some differences. Now, you can get black and white without this. In fact, let me show you how really quickly. I'll just select it and disable it, and I'll select this bottom clip here. And in the video inspector, in uh, color corrections, I can enable a color correction. Actually, I actually got it turned on. All I've done here is in saturation. I brought the saturation down. So you can create a, a black and white effect within Final Cut Pro just by desaturating, and that's fine. But let me show you why you might want to use this instead. Let me reset this and go back. And then I'll select RT Black and White and enable it again. I'll hit the V key. Uh, what RT Black and White does is gives you more options on how to create a black and white look. So by default, if we go to the title inspector, it's using all three color channels to create the black and white look. And what you can do is just play with these. So for instance, if I uh, remove the red channel, we can see a completely different look, especially if you notice her, her lips are very red. And because I've removed the red channel, uh, that channel isn't really represented. That's why they're very black now, because white represents all of that channel, black none of that channel. So we've totally removed the red channel and ended up with a lot of contrast, which in this case looks very nice. I could also bring that up and maybe try playing with the green channel and bring that down uh, for a different look and try combining these in different ways. And it all depends on the individual shot. Another way you can look at these is if I bring them all down, we get black. I can choose uh, channel mix and color. So for instance, if I move red channel to 100% and choose channel mix and color, we can just see, okay, that's the red channel. Uh, and we've got a lot of red, obviously, in our lips. Or I can look at just the green channel. Uh, well, there's not much green there. Or the blue channel. And again, not much green. So I can look at those individually with the channels in color, or I can turn that off and see what they look like in black and white. In this case, the blue doesn't look very nice because we've kind of got a lot of um, sort of darkness here, but I can add in the other channels as much or little as I want and kind of create a mix that I might like that might be pleasing by playing around with different color channels. And once you get a look, I'm going to set these to 100% and just bring the red down here. So let's say we like that for this image. Um, if I look at a different image, it might be a very different look that I want. So for this particular shot here, uh, if I've got all three, it's kind of blown out. And I can play around and see. Again, I kind of like bringing the red channel down for this one as well, but maybe bringing the green channel down a little bit as well also. So you've got a lot of control on, on how this image looks. Let's go to this other one over here. And by default, uh, it looks like this with all three channels. If I remove the red channel, again, we get a lot more detail on the lips and some of the hair detail here. And I can just figure out which one of these I want to use or what mixture I want to use to create the look I want. And the cool thing is, once you've kind of played with that, you can take it a little bit further. So you can mix the original color back in. If you want to bring a little color back in, you can just bring that up a little bit, uh, which I really like here because I've uh, brought this red channel down. We really get a lot of color here, and then we can go back and kind of be interactive with how this looks. Uh, or I can bring in all the color, or just a little bit. So I can create very interesting, almost kind of uh, toned looks, almost selective color correction by using this RT black and white uh, effect. As well, you can create more contrast. You can crush the blacks here and blow out the whites. Let's see how this looks like on another image here. I can crush the blacks and blow out the whites. Make it very bright. And then you can also play with the mid-tones or the mid-range. So I could brighten up those mid-range and then maybe darken the very highest white, something like that. And let's take a look on the other one. I don't like that as much there. I like that a little more like that. So the last thing is you can also add a tint color. By default, it's this uh, kind of sepia tint. So I can crank that up to get a little sepia tint and maybe take the original totally out. Uh, but I can make that tint, you know, any color. You can just click on that little pop-up. Or you can click on the color swatch itself, and maybe you have saved colors that you use uh, that you can use here, or you can set specific hue and saturation and brightness values uh, right on the color wheel here. And then maybe from here, I could add back some of the original in there. So this gives you a lot of flexibility 
on creating black and white or pseudo black and white or even kind of duo tone kind of looks for your footage. So I uh, hope you found that useful and uh, enjoy the Ripple Tools. Thanks for watching.